What happened to Mr. Beast's winners? I don't know about you, but I always wonder what the experience is during a Mr. Beast video and what happens afterwards. My name is Shamir and I go by Shimmer. I interview people and cosplayers at conventions and tell their stories to people like you. I went to VidCon last month and ran into Rain, who actually won a Cybertruck from a Mr. Beast video. And it was actually because of the Faze rug. With the recent news, drama, and allegations coming out about Mr. Beast, like the horrible conditions on his Amazon show, previous issues with his workplace environment, and also issues with his previous friends, I thought it would be the perfect time to show you guys what Rain had to say about his experience on a Mr. Beast set. Can you tell us about the cyber truck you won from Mr. Beast? Yeah! I love you, dude. I love you too. Yeah, man. Uh, Phase rug. Brian hit a hit a free throw. Wetted, wetted that up for okay. me, and uh, that's that's. I mean, it was one of the coolest moments and experiences I had the opportunity to to be a part of. It was like 50 YouTubers competing against each other in like six different challenges, okay. awesome. and uh, I, I believe the first place winner got like a million a million in cash and so you won the cyber truck I, I, yeah so they they had 10 cyber cyber beast edition cyber trucks to give away um only two of us won and uh you know they, they couldn't move on to the next challenge until 10 of the creators got out wow so that's awesome it was a lot of them took the shot a lot of them missed yeah. so how'd you feel when you like won that euphoria Euphoria. Yeah, absolute euphoria, dude. I was I spun out in it, started you know just doing <laughs> doing crazy stuff in the in the car. It was I was swearing like a sailor. Dang. Um, I've heard some people can either get the product or they can get cash. What did you decide? I took, on? I took the cash. It was okay. like it was, it was money to invest in my business. It was money to invest in uh, other things I'm looking to to do at the moment. Um, yeah, I've got a website, cloudmediax.org. You guys can purchase some animations over there. I had another question about the Mr. Beast thing. Um, if someone watching ends up being in a Mr. Beast video, what is a tip you can give them on winning something from a Mr. Beast video? I have no advice to give in that regard. I got lucky. Rug, <laughs> rug won it for me. I was just a passenger princess, and I'm, I'm okay with that, man. Uh, <laughs> what I will say is just uh, if you ever have the opportunity to be a part of a Mr. Beast video, just just uh, give it your all, whatever whatever it is you have to do, and uh, and the team, the awesome, amazing studio and team of creatives and producers over there, are phenomenal people to work with, and uh, and they pay it forward heavily. So just just be a good person, treat others so you want to be treated, and you'll you'll just get to experience cool things. Mr. Beast, please, please collab. Thank you, brother, for the interview. I appreciate it. That was very insightful. Let me know your thoughts on this whole Mr. Beast thing. Do you think he's done for or he's here to stay? Thoughts on what Rain had to say about the production? Also, by the way, this is not to shift any narrative about Mr. Beast. This is just an interview about somebody who had a positive experience about the whole production. We also do have to realize that this video in particular was the one with the top YouTubers, so the conditions were probably much better than they usually are. And also, it's harder to be faked. Anyway, Anyways, thank you all for watching. Let's keep in touch.